All right, the next part of the notes that we're going to look at is falling objects. So this is chapter two, section three in the textbook. So falling objects, really we call them in free fall, but it's not that just they're falling. How about if we were to toss an object up in the air? We're still going to call it a free fall problem. It's going to have constant acceleration. And that acceleration, when you're close to the Earth's surface, will be negative 9.81 meters per second squared. And we call that the acceleration due to gravity. Now, you notice that negative sign in the front? That negative is due to the downward direction. Okay, remember negative can mean it's slowing down or in the one direction, or that negative sign can mean that it's accelerating in the negative direction. You don't need to memorize this value. It's given on the list of physical constants reference tables. They just don't show the negative there. You have to realize that it's negative because it's in the downward direction. The acceleration is constant during both upward and downward motion. So say I had an object that I tossed in the air with a positive 10.5 meters per second. Positive just indicating that's in the upward direction. It will accelerate at negative 9.81 meters per second squared because remember that acceleration is directed downward. So it should make sense to you that as the object is thrown up, it should slow down because it's going to reach its highest point. And when it reaches that highest point, you know it's going to come back down. So the velocity at the highest point is going to be zero meters per second. Then what it's going to do, it's going to come back down and it's going to accelerate at negative 9.81 meters per second squared because it's constant. That acceleration is constant no matter if it's on its way up or on its way down. But see, now the acceleration is in the same direction as the motion. So what's going to happen is the object's going to speed up. And if the object ends up landing at the same height from which it started, it's going to have the same magnitude, but that final velocity is going to be a negative 10.5 meters per second. Negative because that velocity is in the downward direction. So let's see if we can figure out what the final velocity will be at different times during the, the path of this object as it's thrown up and then it falls back towards the earth. How about if we wanted to figure out the velocity after one second? All right, well, let's think about some equations that we've used. Well, first of all, there is, we know the VI here. We know a VF, but the VF here was after the total time of flight. We don't know if one second was the total time of flight, but we do know the acceleration during the total time of flight was a negative 9.81 meters per second squared. So basically what we need to do is figure out what is the final velocity after one second and find out where this object is in its path. Well, if we're looking for final velocity, we do have an initial velocity, we have a time, we have an acceleration. So what equation could we use? Look at your sheet. And if you say VF equals VI plus AT, you're correct. So now let's plug in. Let's plug in the positive 10.5 meters per second for the VI. Plus A here has to be negative though negative 9.81 meters per second squared. And then we'll multiply by one second. Well, you can see that that AT term is going to be negative. So let's subtract that from the VI. And we're going to end up with 0 0.69 meters per second. So you know what? It's still positive, but it's slowing down. So that object's probably right around here right now. Let's figure out what the velocity is after two seconds. Do the same equation. We've got our VI. We know A. The time we're going to use here is two seconds. It ends up being negative 9.12 meters per second. So we, tell, we can tell it's on its way down 
and it's probably right around here. Okay. Now I'd like you to take out the worksheet I gave you that has some notes problems that we're going to do because we're going to do that in the next video.